On today's Disney Roundup, the Hatbox Ghost arrives at the Haunted Mansion in Magic Kingdom, Disneyland Resort's event schedule for 2024, and the Magic Kingdom is now sold out on Christmas Day. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. Also, over this past week, I was just at Walt Disney World. While I was there, I was able to attend one of the Disney Jollywood Nights events along with the debut nights of Luminous the Symphony of Us and I have videos posted for both of those. So if you wanna check those out, I'll leave links to those in the description down below. But now starting off with Parks News, following his much awaited arrival, the Hatbox Ghost has now officially materialized in the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. Announced back months ago at Destination D23, Disney shared that the Hatbox Ghost would officially be coming to Magic Kingdom's Haunted Mansion sometime later this year. Over this past week, the Hatbox Ghost has now come out to socialize. The Hatbox Ghost first appeared in the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland Park in 1969. Then in 2015, he reappeared in the attraction but had yet to show himself at the Magic Kingdom attraction until now. Materializing next to the endless hallway, the Hatbox Ghost emerges through a cobalt blue glass painted door under the cloak of night. Traces of Muddy footprints mark his path as he arranges his cart of hat boxes and luggage. Lit by the moon in the warm glow of the dim lantern, guests come out face to face with the hatbox ghost, grimly grinning as he takes a fiendish delight in unnerving visitors with this headly parlor trick. If you've got the chance to go on the Haunted Mansion since the hatbox ghost has arrived, let me know what you think in the comments down below. With 2024 just around the corner, Disneyland Resort has released their event schedule for next year. For the first time, Disneyland has shared dates and offering details early for limited time and seasonal events throughout next year. Lunar New Year at Disney California Adventure Park will start off 2024 by taking place from January 23rd to February 18th, then followed by Celebrate Gospel from February 17th and the 24th. Anaheim Ducks Day is back at DCA on February 22nd and 23rd to celebrate the Hockey Club's 30th anniversary. The Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival returns taking place from March 1st to April 22nd. Season of the Force at Disneyland Park will take place from April 5th to June 2nd, while also Pixar Fest returns to DCA from April 26th through August 4th. Halloween time begins earlier than ever next year starting August 23rd through the 31st, with Plaza de Familia at DCA taking place from August 23rd through November 2nd, with Oogie Boogie Bash also returning once again. And the holidays at Disneyland Resort next year will begin starting November 15th. New coming next year on March 5th and 7th, Disney After Dark Disney Channel Night comes to life highlighting themed offerings from favorite Disney Channel shows across various eras of programming with fantastic music, memorable characters, high energy parties, unique photo opportunities, and more. Also shared for next year, beginning May 24th, the nighttime spectacular Fantasmic will once again illuminate the rivers of America in Disneyland Park, featuring new special effects, a battle scene between Sorcerer Mickey and Maleficent, plus the return of the Peter Pan scene which will replace the Pirates of the Caribbean. Guests planning to visit Walt Disney World during Christmas week, be aware that Magic Kingdom on Christmas Day has already reached full capacity. With Christmas Day at Magic Kingdom always expected to be one of the most crowded days of the year, it appears the park has already reached its max capacity for that day. Now showing on the Walt Disney World website, when going to make a park reservation on the 25th, Magic Kingdom is no longer available to reserve for guests with park tickets, resort guests, or annual pass holders. In addition, single-day park tickets are no longer able to be purchased for Magic Kingdom on that day as well. As of up to the recording of this video, guests are still able to buy tickets and make reservations at Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. Now on the outside the parks news, although H2O Plus is no longer in business, Disney will still be offering their same products to resort guests. Last year, it was announced that after 30 plus years, H2O Plus would be retiring their brand at the end of 2022. H2O Plus products, of course, are well known for being included in your resort hotel, on property, or while sailing on Disney Cruise Line. Since then, products have still remained in resort rooms, but there is now an update on that. Over this past week, during the 2023 
Disney Vacation Club Condominium Association meeting, Vice President of Resort Operations Allison Armour shared that Disney had required the rights to the formula for H2O products and would continue to produce them under their own Disney Resort brand. Products are currently only available for use in rooms as you are not able to purchase additional items online or on property at stores for the time being. Coming to the East Coast, Disney has now announced a new story living by Disney community location. Disney has shared a first look at plans for Asteria, a new story living by Disney residential community committing to life in the heart of North Carolina near Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. Influenced by Walt's perspective and the nearby universities in North Carolina re-owned Research Triangle, the Asteria community is envisioned as a campus of discovery where future residents can learn and grow, bringing a touch of Disney magic into their everyday lives in a way only story living by Disney communities can. Asteria community homeowners will become part of a club with amenities and programming designed to encourage learning and connectivity both with their fellow neighbors and the outdoors. The club is planned to include a variety of spaces for residents to gather and pursue new interests including a wellness and recreation center, restaurants, sports courts, swimming pools, community gardens, and plenty of outdoor space with lawn games, events, and fire pits. There are plans for more than 4,000 residential units including single-family and multi-family homes with some home sites specifically designated for 55 and plus. The Asteria community is in the beginning stages of planning with Walt Disney Imagineering and DMB Developments. Homes in the community will be built by select home builders with sales anticipated to begin by 2027. All right, everyone. Well, that's all you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all you for this week. And until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.